transportation in plant we were seeing how does transportation of water and minerals takes place in plant this is part 2 so in the previous video we have seen that the outermost layer of root is known as epidermis epidermis consists of root hair below epidermis there is a multi layered parenchymatous uh, layer of cortex having intercellular space between them below cortex there is a barrel shaped cell layer layer which is known as endodermis endodermis consists of phloem and xylem so till here we have already completed and we have to see how does now water moves inside the plant through root so here is the soil soil consists of water water also have some dissolved minerals in it and as the water moves inside the root through root hair it will come towards towards epidermis after epidermis it has to move towards the cortex and there are two types of movements in the cortex region the first movement is apoplastic type of movement and the second one is symplastic type of movement so let us see how does water moves inside the cortex first is apoplast movement and second one is symplast movement so when water enters to the epidermis water from epidermis will move into the intercellular space then the cell wall then the intercellular space then the cell wall then the intercellular space and then the cell wall and intercellular space and come towards the endodermis so when water is moving from the through the intercellular space and touching to the cell wall this type of movement of plant is known as apoplast movement another movement is symplast movement now let us see what is symplast movement and how does it move inside the cortex water moves inside the cortex and water enters from the root here in some plastic type of movement water will cross the cytoplasm of the cell so this is first cell it is moving from the cytoplasm then towards another cell then another cell then another cell it's crossing towards the it it's crossing the cytoplasm of the cell and then come towards the endodermis this type of movement is called as symplast movement so in most of the cases the movement of water is apoplast type of movement but water can move in both the ways either it can be symplast or it can be apoplast movement and water will come towards the endodermis all the cells of endodermis is not allow water to pass through them since it consists a layer and that layer is called as so it consists of a layer inside the cell and that layer is called as casparian strip this casparian strip is made up of a chemical which is known as suberin some of the endodermis uh, does not cons consist of this casparian strip and only from that cell the water can move from the endodermis and these cell where the capsaic caps parian strip is absent is called as passive cell so water from endodermis can only move through the passive cell now water is entering to to the endodermis and from endodermis it